right, May the 1st. Um, happy Friday to everybody. So, yesterday we talked about asthma, we talked about allergies, and we did a little demonstration with, with uh, excuse me, uh, Epi, EpiPens as well as Abiqs. So, um, if you didn't get to see it yesterday, please be, um, go back and view it, and uh, hopefully it's worthwhile. All right, so today what we're going to talk about is diabetes. And um, there's two types of, well, there's multiple types of diabetes, but we're going to concentrate on two. Um, type 1, type 2 are what we're going to concentrate on. You might hear something called gestational di diabetes. Um, my wife actually had that when she was pregnant. Um, but we're going to concentrate on type 1 and type 2. Um, so type 1. Well, most people do not have type 1. Di most people don't have diabetes, first of all. But uh, again, remember, um, for leading cause of death, this is perhaps our, our fourth leading cause of death. All right, so it's something that we got to take serious because over time, somebody that has diabetes, if they've had way too high of blood sugar, and we'll get all into this in a second, eventually will shut down certain organs and damage certain organs. So it can become fatal. Um, all right, but if the two, out of the two types, type two is way more common than type one. Type one is usually early in the onset of life. Um, you may even be born with it or um, been um, diagnosed with it within the first couple of years. Maybe if you might have been three years old, four years old, whatever. Um, that, that is about five to 10% of all types of diabetes. Um, the vast majority is people not taking care of themselves with a, a, a poor diet or a lack of exercise. Um, you don't have to be obese to have diabetes. You don't, okay? Um, but oftentimes people that are overweight are far more likely to get diabetes, right? Because of the diet and, and lack of exercise. All right, so what is diabetes? So, so let's explain this. So I drew this real fast. All right, so anything that we would eat, okay? Let, let, let me rephrase this. Any carb, okay? Well, what's a carb? Bread, rice, cereal, pasta, all those types of things. A diabetic has to be careful about how many carbs they inject. So any carb that we don't use, okay, is going to turn into glucose or, or sugar, all right? And so if I would eat a piece of bread, all right, it goes all the way into my stomach. My stomach will then proceed to break down that food and it will go into my bloodstream, all right? So for this case, let's just draw um, a little diamond and that's going to be sugar all right there's sugar and there's sugar and we don't want to have too much sugar in our bloodstream okay most of you will be able to burn off sugar okay you eat something you go exercise and that's great and so do diabetics all right um, but what we have to worry about is this our cells down here these blocks will absorb sugar for most people okay we have sugar, our body uses it, sugar for energy, all right? But for somebody that's diabetic, all right, these sugars cannot go into the cells. Well, how do they go into the cells? Every single one of us, okay? We have a, an organ in our body called a pancreas. And what, the pancre what, what does the pancreas do? Well, it provides something called insulin, okay? Well, what's insulin? Insulin, all right, we're gonna draw this as a key. Sorry about my bad drawings, a little skeleton key. All right, the pancreas will have these keys, okay, or the insulin will bind with sugar. And these, this key will open up the cells. So this sugar molecule would have been able to go in there. If this insulin um, bind with that sugar, now we're here. And now our body is able to use sugar for energy. But if you um, can't make insulin, okay, if you're diabetic and you can't make insulin, or the body or the cells are not responding, to the insulin, they're, they're staying close. Well, now you're gonna have an abundance of sugar in your bloodstream, okay? Well, if you have an abundance, we talked about that, how that can damage organs over time. So long-term effects, high blood sugar is not, not a good thing. But we also have to worry about low blood sugar because if you are a student in my class and you are a diabetic and you had low blood sugar, well, you might pass out, okay? So we would then have to add sugar. So somebody, that is diabetic, oftentimes they will test them themselves multiple ways. Um, sometimes they have an insulin pump and some of the insulin pumps are amazing that they've came out in the last five years where they can automatically inject insulin into the body and a person doesn't have to actually manually press the button, okay? There's still a lot of insulin pumps where people are still pressing buttons, okay? Um, you might also have to do a finger prick, all right? Where you're drawing blood and then taking that blood 
and put it into a reader to see if what your blood sugar level is. And if it's low, obviously you need to eat a carb. Okay. If it's high, obviously you don't need to eat a carb. You need to exercise some of that sugar off. All right. So hopefully that gives you a little nutshell, five minute little clip on, on how diabetes works. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys have a great weekend and uh, we'll catch you later. Take care. Bye-bye.